Hello everyone, uh, today I just wanted to give you a quick view of some Nevada Grenchen Broad Arrows, uh, or I should say uh, Chrono Masters, one's a Broad Arrow, one's, one's not. This is the non-Broad Arrow version. Um, these have been sent in to me by Nevada. Um, I'm not keeping them, they're just here for me to have a look at. And uh, yeah, the folks over there have been super generous with their time. I've been really delayed in getting a look at these because of work commitments and COVID and things like that. And the Nevada team are super responsive. Um, yeah, really generous with their time and asked every, answered every question I had and yeah, have been really great to communicate with, which I think is a really positive sign. So as with all the, the videos I put up, I don't want to go into too much detail around all the specs and everything like that. I'd rather just give you some very top line and bits of info and my opinion and my first thoughts, having handled a lot of watches, just to let you know what, what I think. Uh, today I'm wearing my Speedy. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a brand I've been looking at for a while. They make Neo Vintage 38 mil chronographs. And yeah, I just, I've seen them for a while. They look very similar to the to the vintage models that I've seen on Chrono24 and other other sites. But I'm always very cautious with vintage watches just because I live in a very humid environment. Uh, I live in Singapore, so it's very hot and humid. And having a vintage watch like that in this sort of weather is, is tricky. Um, so I tend to steer more towards neo vintage when I want to have this type of aesthetic. And Nevada seems to be a brand that's that's doing a really good job at it. So yeah, really excited to have these in to look at. So this is the uh, yeah, this is the Chrono Master, um, the one with the as you can see slightly orange sub seconds there in the orange second hand. Uh, both of these watches have friction bezels, so there's no clicks as you turn the bezel. Um, it's very smooth, so you can probably hopefully you can't hear anything. No clicking or anything. It's just a friction bezel goes both ways, uh, which I really like. And yeah, the size and the aesthetic is just right on my street in terms of what I like to wear. So in terms of the thickness, it's not as thick as I thought it was going to be. I think it's listed as, let me have a look. It's listed as 13.75 millimeters thick, which normally would put me off, but it doesn't seem that way at all. It seems a lot a lot shallower, a lot more slender. It's not it's not a skinny watch by any means, uh, but yeah, the, the thickness isn't an issue. Um, and it goes really well with this 38 millimeter case. I love the dial, love these hands. It looks like a vintage watch to be quite honest with you, but it's not. And um, that's very attractive to me. I'm also loving these drilled lugs. And I've got two versions here. So I'll show you the broad arrow in a sec. So there's this one, uh, which is like the black and orange. And this is, yeah, these are all manual wind and comes with this Tropic strap, nice buckle down here. It's a very good quality strap. Also like how there's not too much case protruding between the strap and the bezel. It's, it's really well proportioned. So there's, there's this one. And then the other one we have here is the Broad Arrow. And uh, yeah, it's just like a beautiful looking watch. You'll see the sub seconds have like a silver sub seconds hand and like a dagger formation which i really appreciate again another friction bezel and this is on a very interesting uh bracelet i didn't want to take the, the the plastic off the bracelet but these are stretch bracelets so if you if i was to like stretch my fingers out like this and if the plastic wasn't on there they would be stretched within these links because there's a spring inside which is very reminiscent and very, yeah, a nod back to the old days of watchmaking. I would also make for a very comfortable strap. So yeah, this is the broad arrow, beautiful blacks, super black. Also loving this 12 hour bezel. Tell two time zones and a chronograph, signed crown, signed folding clasp there. I think this is the, I believe this is the manual wind as well. 
uh, but they do come in automatic as well. So you can get them in automatic and manual wind. And yeah, it's just beautiful. We're just super impressed to be quite honest. I'll show you some wrist shots in a sec. Uh, but right now I think I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards this one. They also have it in like a brown dial, I believe, which I think would look really nice. Uh, and yeah, I'm loving this orange seconds hand. So yeah, let me just show you what these look like on my wrist. All right, so here it is on my wrist. Um, you can see beautifully proportioned. I have a 6.75 inch wrist, maybe a bit less. Um, and yeah, like it just sits really well. This is just does not sit like a 13.7 mil thickness to me. It's a lot more, it's a lot more wearable. And you know what cameras, anyone that's watched a camera, uh, a watch review, on YouTube before, you know, it always looks, uh, you know, bigger on the camera than it is, and it really is beautifully proportioned. Look how cool that is. So yeah, sit on the rubber strap. I won't put this one on just because there's yeah, rubber all over the bracelet. Um, not rubber, sorry, plastic all over the bracelet, but this also looks beautiful. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely more into the rubber strap, I think. I think this broad arrow on the rubber strap would be, would be really nice. But yeah, this is the one I'm liking. We'd love to know which one you prefer or if anyone's ended up getting one. Gonna be, yeah, sending these back to Nevada. Although I am, I don't know, I think I might keep this one. Just transfer them the cash if that's an option. Cause yeah, I'm really loving this orange seconds hand. Just super cool. So yeah, definite recommend um, that neo vintage look with modern finishing, modern pro uh, modern uh, materials, super fast delivery, great team, really patient, answer every question, all the questions that you have on email. Delivery was with DHL, so super fast, and uh, yeah, I'm into it. I'm into it. I think this one retails. I think these both retail roughly around uh, seventeen hundred to 1800 US dollars so it's not cheap but it's really good value for what it is great movements great her heritage and history so so yeah hope that's useful